to our next piece of news. And this is a really interesting one. In one of the cra craziest gaming stories in a while, a clip of an unknown mysterious secret door took the Nier Automata community by storm. Buckle up. It's gonna be a wild one. So yes. So I'm gonna talk through, I'm gonna recap what happened here a bit. It's not going to include all the stuff from that happened because a lot of that stuff happened in the discords and stuff that I, I didn't see, but just going off the information that happened around this crazy new Automata story. We're a little bit behind. We we could have covered it last week, we just didn't have the time to probably, you know, do the research about what had happened. So but I think it's still cool to bring up because it's one of my favorite things that's actually happened in gaming in a in a while. Mm. So it's a I guess go back to the start. Um so two months ago, a Reddit user named uh, Sad Fatago asked on a near fan art subreddit, pretty small subreddit, hello, how do you open the church? Uh, hello, I'm new to Reddit. I want to know how to open the church in near Automata. Just a random post, right? A month after that, that same user, Sad Fatago, um, asked the same question on the main near Automata subreddit about the door in the game, what, what the location called the Copied City, which is like that crazy white, um, uh, you know, blocky area. Uh, and he's like, can you describe, you know, the, the, uh, and people are like, oh, can you describe what you're talking about? People are like, what are you talking about? A secret door in a secret church, right? Um, there's no door in the copied city you can go to. Like, uh, we're going to need some screenshots. So he posted some screenshots of the character A2 standing in a church that nobody had seen before. So I don't know if we've got the B-roll. That was, was going to help me <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm waiting. That. I'm waiting for the... So what are you waiting for? Well, you, you just set it up better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're right. I didn't know I needed. I thought that little red dot in our own sheet was good enough. No, um, no, so, I'm, I'm, I'm letting letting it marinate so a little bit before we get into the juicy stuff. After not really getting a response on that, Sanfotoka then went to the overall new subreddit, which is bigger. Um, this time, posting clips of a two. That's, that's what I was waiting for. Clips opening an unmarked secret door and descending down a vertical shaft and then approaching like a Zelda-esque twisted hallway, right? And that's when it blew up. So more footage then was uploaded, which you can kind of see in the, the B-roll at the moment, um, you know, showing them finding the church and unused dialogue and a mysterious flower, which kind of looked like a reference to the um, the Lunatier from Near Replicant or uh, Drakengard 3.0 character. And... At this time, the community, obviously, the immediate reaction is like, this is a hoax. What is this? Nobody's ever seen this. But the idea, what they were saying is, look, they're playing on an original version of this game. And the whole thing was like, they didn't know how they did this, how to replicate opening the door. And it just blew up, right? Um, so the re renowned data miner, modder, and like near automata expert, Lance McDonald. So he's the he's the guy that uncovered Neo Automata's famous secret code um, a couple of years ago or last year or whatever. Like when he started talking about it, that's when I think a lot of people started really going, "Oh wait, maybe something to this." Because he said, "You know, it's not yet possible to mod Neo Automata in this way." If anyone is curious, it's fake. Like there's no way to really mod the architecture to that level. People were trying to replicate, and they're like, "You know, what is?" you know, what is going on here? So this led to days of the community basically debating whether it was a hoax or, you know, cut content. Um, and news outlets started picking up on it and it kind of just really, really took on a life of its own where you had like the, you know, again, I wasn't in the Discord stuff, but just looking at the people talking about it, you had like the Church of the Believers and the Church of Non-Believers <laughs> and people were putting together like massive documents detailing, you know, the arguments for and against, is this real, is this a hoax? Um, and all the while, that said, for Targo user was commenting and replying and basically saying, you know, being a bit naive about the game. Um, and we even had the like the producer of Nia, Yosuke Saito, um, you know, tweet, "Eternal mystery. This is something Yokotaro could do, who's the director." And so people were like, "What is going on? Why would they, you know, do that?" And Yokotaro tweeted this. Is Probably one of my favorite parts of it. Dear followers, yesterday my number of followers was increased over a thousand counts, but I'm not what you expected. Normally I don't tweet in English language because I'm foolish and I love sausage and beer. Best regards. <laughs> and that's it. That's all he said that's about awesome. it. And everyone, because Yokotaro is obviously incredibly, you know, weird dude naturally. And everyone's like, this actually could be something that he would do, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's not out of the question. 
but it was just obviously the way that this random Reddit user came up with it and they couldn't replicate it. So, and it got even weirder. So more footage became available where the character uh, 9S was fighting the shadow enemy and then came up against the fountain and the fountain was the one from near the first near or near replicant. Mm -hmm. And it was asking the same question it was a fountain that's basically in an area called the Shadow Lord's Castle, basically. I won't get into it, but basically the questions are really important to the story. And the 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 guy in the video did answered incorrectly. And then the video ended. Everyone's like, wait, what if he answered correctly? Right? And it was all this stuff. Um, but basically just kept more and more speculation. People are like, okay, is this not only is this a hoax, but is this potentially an ARG? Like, you know, or a, a game to promote a, a thing to promote potentially. You know, a near uh, a, a Dragon Guard because there's Dragon Guard, you know, connections and everything. Dragon Guard Remaster or Three Remaster, or maybe promoting the Switch port of Near Automata, which is coming mm. out soon. Mm. But then the cracks really started to show. So, apparently, like, and Lance McDonald kind of tweeted a screenshot of this as well, where it's like it seemed like Sad Fatago was replying to himself on Reddit as like, "This is either cut content or a mod." You know, and people are like like wait, why would they say that? Yeah, but then yeah, yeah. people are like, oh, there's language differences because it's clear that English is not their first language and everything. But then they're also mentioning they're kind of referencing more niche parts of Nier's Near Automata's lore as well. So people are like, wait, maybe they're not as naive. So this is where we're at, right? It reached the boiling point and Safatago streamed the secret area live on Twitch. And to me, this was like a, you watch it back and if anyone watches it back, just be aware that the chat replay in Twitch or whatever has lots and lots of lewd images of people doing in like ASCII art or ASCII art or whatever, right? Uh, but in the, Looking during the live, yeah, during the live stream, <laughs> he goes into the church, beat, defeats a monster and goes to the fountain and answers the three questions correctly. And everyone's like, what's gonna happen, right? This is live on Twitch. It takes him to this really empty, eerie room. And like, as you walk forward, you see this, the massive um, like model of Dragon Guard 3's uh, Zero kind of hanging from the ceiling, like huge. And it's like really eerie. They go up to like this, the, I guess it's a lunar tier flower. And then it essentially reveals that this was all the work of three modders. So the modders were uh, Devolers, Devilers Revenge, Woeful Wolf and Raider B who had developed these unprecedented modding tools for <laughs> Near Automata. And they're releasing them to the community after, you know, a few days. But the way they revealed this, so that in the video, they say, thank you, everything we've shared has been completely in-game, no editing was used, we've been loving all the discussions and theories, it's been an amazing journey, it's been inspiring to see the community come together after so many years, has made all the hard work worth it, we hope everyone had a good time. We certainly did. But they did state as well that, you know, sorry for misleading everyone. We were aiming for it to kind of be seen as cut content, not like an ARG promoting, you know, a new game or anything like that. But they, they you know, they during the, that reveal towards the end, they started showing all the fan art from the community that came out from this. So, like there was some awesome stuff, some funny memes. It was just, it kind of took over a little corner of the gaming internet for a while. Um and as I said, like all the news outlets were updating you day to day. And they said, you know, they said, we're well, sorry if sad Fitago, Fitago was troublesome and annoying. We used his ignorance to buy time. And they said, originally it was supposed to be a little joke to show people that we fully expected that. And, but they fully expected data miners like Lance McDonald to shoot it down in two seconds. But it kind of grew up. And the fact that Lance was questioning himself, like after the reveal, Lance said, I was not involved in this, as you can probably tell, by the combination of how confused and how wrong I was about the various aspects um, along the way. I was huffing the Dragon Gut 3 remake copium by the end. So even he was like, this has got to be something, you know? So I think what this, I just think this is a fantastic way to really reveal these, you know, these modding tools to community. Mm. This is, you know, Nier Automata is not a new game by any, uh, you know, stretch of the imagination, but it really, really brought the community together. And some people were unhappy that it was, obviously it wasn't cut content or anything, but I think this is a kind of magical moments that you just, just kind of come out of nowhere in gaming. And I love when this stuff happens. So I think uh, the the secret church and the secret room uh, in uh, Nier Automata is just a wonderful thing. Yeah, we we didn't talk about it last week, but I was following this as this was developing. My favorite uh, fan sort of content or whatever you want to call it. I don't know if you saw this, Swinny. I'm sure you would have, knowing you. It was the Mario yeah, 64 yep. one. 
Like, mm. and this was created like two days after from memory. No, I think it's cut out. I can't see it anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. Weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like this was created like a couple of days after the actual thing came out with Nia. Like it was amazing how quickly someone actually modded Mario 64 to include this yeah. stuff. It was insane. Um, yeah, no, I thought it was really cool. I do think Lance McDonald, the Aussie uh, that we have spoken about a lot on the show, actually, I think he was the reason why it kind of catapulted into a massive yeah. thing because he was not definitive about, nah, this is bullshit or whatever. He was, which, which is fair enough, right? Because that actually discovered something that he didn't know you could do in the game. And this is a guy that knows almost the ins and outs of Neuron Automata's code, basically. He's disassembled the yeah. actual game. <laughs> it's crazy, it's you know. It's insane. So. But I think when I was following it and he was like, look, you can't clip through to that area. And I was just like, this can't be real. So, like, it, it, the only thing you could think it was, it's either cut content, which is a bit weird mm. to show that, or it's just modded content, which is kind of what I thought it was. But... Mm. Then there was one thing he was saying, which is like, there's no way to load this on the PlayStation. Like even on a modded PlayStation, you can't do it. I was like, oh, okay, that's a bit weird. But now you can. So that was what it was that's all awesome. revealing. So I thought it was cool. I think people are a bit, you know, what do you, what do you call it, Swinney? It's like a bit of a wet blanket for being shitty about this. Yeah, and look, they're, they're, I think overall, like it seems like the community loved the way that this came together mm. if it was just if you know like if it happened differently it could have, would have pissed more people off you know yeah. but i think the fact that this is now opening up so many more possibilities for that community to you know make their own content uh, and mm. mods for near automata which is a fantastic game i think is great so no, yeah. cool i think I'm mike is losing it version. as the host he's <laughs> getting stupid it's reverting to his old mic. No, no, I was just, I, I was trying to post, post a cat in the in the chat, but it d doesn't work, and I have no idea how to do multiple lines. So, whatevs. Cool. All good. Cool. Let's move into. Uh